Alrighty, guys, without further ado, spawning in the bottom right here on Romanticide. Give it up for the Protoss from Dragon Phoenix Gaming. It is Zest. And spawning here at the top left corner of the map, he's our red turn player. Playing for and representing the team of Kaizi Gaming, it is Innovation. Alrighty, so game number one. Um... I'm definitely curious. Zest has been a player that, as of recently, feels like he has been able to do multiple different builds. Um, he usually favors going into kind of some like Blink Stalker plays. I'm wondering against Innovation, though, does he just try to go up into um, like High Templar Storm and just try to overwhelm Innovation that way? Or will we see him go into maybe more of that like Stargate meta that we've been seeing a lot lately? I know it's more popular in kind of the like PBZ, but we have seen it trickle into the PVTs a lot more as well. Yeah, I, I think I've seen Zest go for more of the Blink Stalker opening play compared to Stargate. I mean, Stargate you will bring out every once in a while, but usually the most often I think PVT matchup that I've seen Zest do is either the Blink Stalker opening or the uh, the um, DT opening actually. Uh, he's one of the few processes that actually opens up with uh, DTs against Terran, and then if it doesn't work out, he can morph them into uh, warp them into Archons, and then do a Warp Prism harass that way. So, uh, but I think just based on the layout of the map, this is a great, great map for Blink Stalker play. Definitely. Um, so so far, we see both players going into an expansion. Um, we do have that Adept opening coming out from Zest Innovation opening up. With the Reaper going into Marine, so we'll at least have some kind of defense at home and going to be able to go across and put down some scouting. Um, and for the moment, going to see where Zest wants to take this. I mean, he does have the Warp Gate tech being researched and looks like he is going to be going into that Twilight Council. So more than likely going to be going into the Blink that we were talking about. Mm hmm. Now, uh, Innovation did scout that. So he should have uh, an, an awareness of what's possible, what's coming his way. And uh, we'll see Zest send his first adept across the map, get some extra scouting done, see what's up, and uh, kind of have a, a feel of what innovation is going to be opened up with. Definitely. Well, we got the bunker finishing up now for innovation, his expansion finishing up behind it. Looks like innovation choosing to go for a mind drop here. Uh, which is really interesting given the scout of the Twilight Council. Obviously, there's going to be stalkers afoot um, and the possibility of Blink being done by then. Um, so we'll give a little bit of an extra challenge for Innovation when he goes to do these drops. But if he can get in unscouted, uh, since the basically the tech for Robo is going to be delayed, um, you know what? Maybe he can get some damage done and kind of put it in there. But we'll see. Obviously this map is pretty good for blink in general so if he can somehow maybe get some tanks out in time maybe we'll see see some good plays coming out yeah it's going to be important for innovation to place those tanks in the correct position because again this uh, main base in this map is so huge that blink stalkers can blink up and just avoid the tanks by just circumventing it and so got to make sure to place those tanks in the correct position space them out uh, really well, so that even if the Blink Stalkers blink on one of the tanks, the other, the other tank uh, can shoot on the Blink Stalkers. But in the meantime, like you mentioned, the Widowmind drop is commencing. We'll see how this works out. How many probes can Innovation find with these Widowmines? Definitely, Zest already taking a third base here, so definitely looking to go into the economy. Uh, eventually, we'll throw down some additional gateways here, but. For the time being, like you said, just getting probes, kind of building up into this, you know, stalker-esque economy. Innovation going to go into the natural with the Widowmines, but obviously the uh, Observer is already out. Stalker is going to be able to clean up the first mine pretty easily. Blinking forward into the main, we will see the additional drops coming through here, but so far, not a lot of damage. It does get two probes, which isn't terrible. He still has that one mine left, but... I think definitely a good call here from Innovation just to go ahead, cut his losses, kind of move out, and eventually bring that back in once, you know, maybe Zess is across trying to attack, or even if he can somehow 
distract Zest. Um, use that later and try to get some more probe damage. But behind this, this is going to be getting plus one. Do you see stim and combat shields on the way? And both players just teching up at the moment. Looks like Zest, though, ready for an attack. And to go ahead and push across here. Yeah, I was kind of focused or a little bit too focused on the attack. Did uh, kind of miss the Widow Mine drop here at the backside of the main. Uh, but luckily, it didn't take too many pros with it, only four. I uh, could have been, definitely could have been worse. But here we go. Blink Stalkers are going to go ahead and dive in here at the Nacho. Oh, going to get cornered yep. here by the bows. Same time, there is a single adept in the main base looking to put some pressure onto the SEVs. Is able to kill off a couple of SEVs, but eventually will either have to shade out or just get killed off by the Marauder. And for the time being, Zest backing up. But if he can get in a decent position, he might be able to just blink into the main base. I don't think there's enough stalkers here, though, especially with how many my, uh, marine marauders and tanks that there are. I definitely think he just needs to back up. Going to lose a couple more stalkers. And, you know, we'll see if there's going to be a counterplay coming out from Innovation or if he's just going to take a third base behind this and, and tech up, you know. Yeah, right now he needs to buy as much time as possible to get all these gateways and all these unit production and also probably for this charge to finish because that will be really helpful during that engagement you don't ever want to really engage the terran without having charge lots uh, that charge upgrade um but yeah in the meantime just gotta make sure you, you can have as much army as much as possible the three gateways are about to finish up um and that should allow him to at least warp in some addition oh but look at this the boys has been pulled uh, this is definitely something that Innovation has been doing a lot lately, especially against Zest, and I love this so much. You know, we see Zest with that quick third, he's going into Immortals behind this. Charge is a, almost finished, probably about 15 seconds or so. Gives a nice scan, sees that there's not a big count here, and pulling the boys, gonna use those as a meat shield. Unfortunately, the SCV is not able to get through. Gonna blink back though. Widow Mine's gonna be thrown down here. And uh, GG's and Innovation gonna take game number one here. So Jakanatha is uh, a really big map, you know, obviously it has these big um, kind of open areas on either side of the base. Um, we do tend to see more aggressive plays on this map. And I think the big reason is because of the distance, obviously, um, you know, drops are gonna be big. There's gonna be opportunities for warpins for run buys stuff like that um i'm interested to see what zest does here in game number two obviously you know he's going for these blink plays um a map like jagannatha isn't the best for blink so i wonder does he go into maybe like a a charge lot archon kind of style here and you know do we just see the same kind of style coming out from innovation yeah i could definitely see zest going for that archon charge lot um, a mortal kind of composition. I mean, this is a map that has wide open areas that you can kind of engage in. And at the natural, there are so many entrances and pathways into it. Uh, we, of course, got the one uh, that's straight through in the middle. And then we got the one that's kind of, uh, you know, through the third base, either third base. So, yeah, plenty of areas in which you can kind of set up a surround and kind of sandwich the Terran player. So we'll, we'll see if Zest does elect to go for that kind of army composition. Definitely. Now, with the with the map being a little bit bigger, obviously the spaces are a little bit farther apart, so I wouldn't mind seeing Zest go for that quick third here on this map. That's going to allow him to get the minerals needed to build more gateways. Um, maybe tech into Storm. Um, and like you said, doing some of those like Archon drops um, from the previous game, maybe doing something like that on this map would be really nice for him. We actually see the uh, Reaper coming across now for Innovation gonna look to get some scouting maybe pick off a pro but with the adept there we'll eventually just be able to push this back or even just kill it oh reaper does do the nice juke play now i always always felt like reapers would make a great football player mm -hmm. uh they can just kind of jive and juke really well and i think that could uh serve the reaper well in the nfl <laughs> yeah, I, I, th I think he'd be a good running back, but I, I don't know how well he would do like a, as a lineman or something, just trying to tackle people. But <laughs> oh, that's a that's uh, a Marauder's job, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> especially with the slows, just trying to keep everybody at pace. Um, 
Zest doing a pretty good job here, though, with that Archon, uh, playing kind of defense if we want to get into that, um, and making sure that the Reaper cannot get in and really scout. Um, it is going to be Blink once again from Zest. I think we're going to see that quite a bit from him uh, in general, and it's going to throw that robotics facility behind this. The Archon going to be making its way into the natural, going to look to get a couple of kills. Does actually complete the shade there, so going to get a mule for free. And I think he is just going to be taken out here. Yeah. So, uh, do you think that's worth it, though? I mean, getting a single mule for an Archon it just doesn't feel like maybe that was the best. Well, I mean, I guess in the long term, mules does accrue more, you know, minerals compared to in the depth. Uh, and then also, you know, he's going for Blink Stalkers. You know, they're really the depth not going to really serve much purpose. Uh, if you're going for a mass kind of blink stalker kind of opening so i guess it's all in all it's okay um it's not of course uh, of course uh you know anything game changing or anything um what really is going to be more game changing is how if a uh, zest can kind of get significant damage with this uh, blink stalker play definitely well we see innovation coming in once again with the mind drop blink is about five seconds away it looks like we are going to have the mine's kind of premature drop here. Does a really good job from Zest of actually blinking away from the mines. I'm going to be able to clean those up pretty easily. And uh, yeah, this time no probe kills from Innovation, so definitely not the best for him behind it. Innovation going to be going into that stem. We'll see combat shields here very soon. The Reaper is still alive and looking for scouting information, but with that Warp Prism coming across, this gets very scary for innovation. Yeah, for sure. I mean, there's really not a lot here. I mean, no tanks to defend. It's really going to be up to Marines. And those, uh, I got to say, those tech labs are quite exposed. So I would love to see innovation just snipe and target fire on that. Definitely. And here we go. The blink into the natural. Again, there's no tanks because innovation did open up into that mind drop, which is perfect here from Zez. Uh, pulling the SCDs to try to deal with this, but those uh, uh, stalkers are just going to go ahead and blink down to the bottom. Some of them are getting pretty low, but eventually will be pushed up. Innovation finally getting that tank out, and after five SCVs lost and a handful of Marines, um, Zest is going to continue to put the pressure, focusing down onto the tank, and uh, this is very scary coming out here from game number two. Yeah, stim is nowhere done yet, so even if these uh, marines can stim, it doesn't even matter, there's not enough of them, and as GG, Zest will take game number two and even up the series. Alrighty, spawning in the top right on 2000 Atmospheres, give it up for the blue Protoss from Dragon Phoenix Gaming, it is Zest. And spawning here at the bottom left. Hailing from Korea and representing the team of Kaizy Gaming, he's our red Terran player. He is innovation. Alrighty, so I think on this map we will go into a longer game. Uh, it, it is going to depend on if either player wants to get super aggressive, but knowing innovation, um, he's probably going to be doing one of the same kind of style of builds. Maybe going for like a one-one timing. Um, I would love to see this game go into Archons, go into Zealots, go into even like a Colossus Disruptor style. It would be very interesting. We got the probe from Zest looking to be annoying, trying to kind of delay the barracks as much as possible. And you're going to see a scout coming out from Innovation. So this Ooh. is kind of the first time we've seen Innovation scout with an SEV. It's normally just going to be into, you know, with the Reaper. So gonna allow him to get in get some information and kind of see is Zest gonna be going into that blink style once again or is he gonna be doing something different yeah now I wonder why this is that he did choose this game to send out the SCV because really you know Zest hasn't really been cheesing these past two games so I mean I guess he wants to just make sure that you know I mean there's always that you know that mindset of you know, you want to change it up so even the first two games you didn't really cheese, you might cheese in the third game or, you know, there's a lot of mind games with that. Uh, but, you know, sometimes you kind of think too much of it and you kind of like psych yourself out. Uh, but luckily for Innovation, there is no no shenanigans happening. Just going to be a regular opening by Zest. Uh, pretty much the same opening as the previous two games. 
Yeah, gonna go into that Twilight Council, and uh, eventually we will start seeing that blink into charge. And uh, if it does go further into the series, I definitely think we will start seeing the Archons and stuff coming into play. Um, it's just gonna depend on if Innovation wants to push in early. He's been doing a lot of all-ins with the like SEVs lately, so uh, we'll definitely see where he wants to go with this. Adept going to be making its way across the map while the Reaper just going to be hanging up at the top. Eventually going to try to check in once again and see, you know, where the tech is going. I don't think he's actually seen that it's going to be the Twilight Council, but when you play against Zest, it's pretty much a sure bet that he's going to be opening up into some kind of Twilight Council. Yeah, but I guess he, you, you probably would be best to just get the confirmation here, uh, but nice wall off by Zest here. Uh, in the meantime, the Adept uh, didn't get any damage done. Looks like it did not quite get any damage done. It only just forced some of the workers off of the mineral line. And oh, it does lose the Adept there for pretty much no pickups. Yeah. A little bit of a mistake there, just trying to get in and get more scouting. But with the, the Hellion coming out this time for innovation, uh, trying to throw off Zest, but again, we're going to see this Widow Mine play coming out from innovation. <clears throat> I think on a map like. 2000 atmospheres it's a little bit better for that kind of style but given that he's done the same thing maybe makes it a little bit more tougher um does get three probes a fourth probe going down a fifth probe a lot of damage this time coming out for innovation um, we'll see how that transposes into the later stages as we do see the robotics facility coming out for zest he's getting the sentry so that's going to help out with scouting of course we do see that medevac now for innovation going across the map looking for a drop and this time there's not a whole lot of stalkers there's not a big push coming from zest he's going into that third base uh so starting to kind of go into that more tech heavy style of zest that we like to see and uh behind this you know innovation just gonna go into stim and all of that stuff yeah now he did work off of uh, two gateways so not as much stalkers as you mentioned but that did afford him a uh, faster dirt so you know, he's going to probably try to macro up from here. And really, I think there's really not a lot that Innovation is going to can do about it in the near future. Because there's not a lot here for Innovation. I mean, he did open up with the Winter Mine drop. Didn't quite get much done with it. And so he's kind of uh, a little bit set behind here. Um, but I'm sure this is going to probably go to a, a mid game where things will kind of even out a little bit here. Definitely. Well, it's one of those things, too, because Innovation opened up into mine, it delays a little bit of his tech, right? We just see Stim about halfway done, where normally it should already be done. We should be seeing Combat Shields already done, but it looks like Innovation just not getting his first tank out, eventually kind of switching things around and start up Combat Shield. So, army-wise, is going to be a little bit behind. Now, we look at the army count here so far, and Zest only has 13 army but look at his probe count 57 almost 60. he's going super heavy into the economy side this is going to help him into the later stages as he is going into that templar archives eventually going to go up into that like archon high templar style that we we see from zest yeah so basically uh as you can see zest just making sure you get the map vision, making sure that there are no additional drops here and there. Because uh, if he just continues at this route, in this at this rate, his economy is going to basically overtake and overwhelm innovation. So all he needs to do is make sure there's no you know drops that comes out of the blue and just kills a bunch of his probes or snipe off his nexuses. Uh, but here look we go. Oh, I was going to say, look at this. We do have that move out coming out now for innovation. Um, because he was able to get, you know, obviously the, the reactor and stuff on the barracks, he's going to have a little bit more stuff here than Zest. Zest almost done, though, with Storm. That's going to make it a little bit more harder for Innovation to push into this and even going to start doing this SEV pain train coming across the map. So uh, if Zest isn't ready, which it looks like he is this time, he's got a lot more Zealots. He's got those High Templar with Storm finishing up in just a couple of seconds. Um... Uh, definitely going to see a little bit tougher time for Innovation, but depending on how Innovation tackles this, he might end up finding himself in a better position. Oh, these storms are going to be so crucial here. Now, Zess uh, making sure he's he's got the shoe battery this time around compared to the first game where he had none at all. 
Da. Oh. Decent storm. Uh, I don't like this engagement coming out from Innovation. He's trying to go up a ramp, a very tight choke point with Storm available for the Protoss. The ghosts are not available yet for the Terran and the Zealots looking to get on top of the tanks. One tank does go down, but these other two tanks unfortunately cannot be hit yet. Um, we do see some of the, the SCVs getting taken out. A beautiful force field going down off the ramp, and eventually Zest is going to go ahead and back up. He's able to get in the additional units that he needs. Um, he still has the War Prism with a couple of High Templar in to get some storms off. Does get a beautiful storm off, linking forward with the Stalkers. Eventually we'll back it up, but all Zest has to do is keep poking into this, and eventually he's going to be in an okay spot. Tank's going to start moving up the ramp, and uh, this gets a little bit tougher now, but for Zest, just going to be able to blink on top of this. Storms are going to be available still, and... Uh, should be more than enough. Yeah, I think this is, uh, Zest has done it really well defended. Got all the storms and shield batteries. Got all the units to defend. And GG, Zest will take the series lead. Um, you know, watching Innovation and Zest play, um, neither one of them ever really get too cheesy. It's usually straightforward plays from both sides. And I think after they've played each other so many times, they just get kind of used to each other's styles. And I think that's one of the things, you know, with especially Zest doing all of these tournaments, um, sometimes their styles can be kind of predicted. Um, they're able to look and see, okay, in a best of five series, um, you know, three out of five games, they like to go this specific style or whatever. Um, and so it becomes a little bit more predictable. Innovation obviously has you know, been known to be more predictable in his play. Um, sometimes he can be considered robotic because of just, you know, how conditioned he is to play, you know, in a specific style, doing the same build that, you know, in a lot of times it doesn't seem like it should work because it's, you know, known to be coming, but somehow still makes it happen. Um, and uh, we're going to see if he continues into that tradition. Now, Zest is taking his own expansion does have that 7x core finishing up and we're going to see once again if Zest is going to go into that Twilight Council that he's been going into obviously opening up into the Adept so more than likely going to see it but uh, maybe he changed things up in game number 4 here and uh, maybe does something a little bit different but if not Innovation going to be able to I guess play the game he wants to play as well yeah the anticipation is real will he go for that Twilight or will it be something else uh, in the meantime, though, this uh, depth will give chase to this Reaper. And look at here, we have the same old Twilight Cancel. Definitely. Um, so this time, the Adept not really going across just yet. Staying at home, just being a little bit more defensive. Um, we do see the bunker being finished up now for innovation, as well as that expansion. Um, and it looks like going to go into a Hellion and once again into the Starport. So it looks like we're going to be setting up for that same kind of style from the previous game. But uh, we'll see. Is this finally going to send across that Adept? I mean, if he can keep it alive and, you know, still use it to scout. I mean, maybe it makes it a little bit easier. But Zest going to be going into that blink once again. And, you know, we should be seeing that same kind of play. We'll see if it goes a little bit longer or if Innovation is just going to all in once again. Oh, this uh, Adept is really lucky. He just barely passes the Reaper and the Hellion. Or maybe he just wanted to hide it because I'm sure he's probably not expecting a Hellion and Reaper to... Well, I guess like in the previous game he did. Uh, there was the Hellion and Reaper. And he's going to try to get five probes once again. Can he do it this time around? Uh, maybe a bit more units to, to defend here. We'll only get three. Yeah, not too bad. Um, was able to get those three probes, and it looks like we're going to see a robotics facility coming out from Zest. Um, you know, and, and I'm curious. I think we're going to see that same kind of push come over after the plus one with Sim and everything. But knowing that Innovation's been doing this, does he go into another crazy Blink Stalker play? I mean, there's no tanks or anything just yet, so I mean, the possibility is there, but... We do see the medevac going across now for innovation. He's going to be looking to do another drop. There's nothing in the main, though, so this could be an opportunity here for innovation. Oh, 
Oh, here we go. What am I going to drop? And oh, no, 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 Zess. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh. Oh, so my close. You <laughs> gave me a heart attack there. <laughs> I know. Uh. Oh, God. Please one. don't. Please don't. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, observer now out. Innovation. Going to see the third base coming out from Zest. So does get a little bit of damage. And so makes it, a you know, a little bit more worth it than previous games. This time we do see Innovation going into a Raven as a follow-up. Eventually we'll be able to get the uh, the stim, combat shields, and then go into the medevacs behind this. And we'll see kind of where he wants to go from here. Does he just want to do another push? He's got that plus one. Zesto going to be starting to send across a few zealots, or excuse me, a few stalkers. And getting those additional gateways down, getting charged, and just kind of building up from here. Yeah. Uh, so far, um, Zess uh, pretty in a great position, a stable position at the very least. Um, and it's going to be up to Innovation to probably, I'm predicting a kind of a timing attack once that stim and combat shield and that plus one finishes. Because like they're, they're kind of lining up pretty well, nicely there at the same time. So uh, I do expect a uh, kind of a move out, a push here by Innovation pretty soon. Definitely. We got six gateways that were on the way here for Zest behind all of this. He does have a little bit of the pressure, but once again, once seeing everything with the shade, does have to start kind of worrying about like where he's going to go. Actually, just going to go blinking right into the main. I don't know if I necessarily like this from Zest. Stim is now done, and this will allow the, the Marines and Marauders to come back. Ends up just recalling. And, uh,. I guess he gets a couple of SEV kills, but just not not that worth it in all things. He's going to start sending across more Stalkers. He's got the Immortals and stuff coming through as well. But I don't know if this is really the play, though, from Zest. So we see that push out once again. Yeah, that was kind of risky. Uh, very risky. Uh, he kind of lost a lot of Stalkers. And when you're, when you're opening it with Blink Stalkers, you want to save as much Stalkers as you want. Uh, but he does have a lot of gateways, so maybe he can get some nice warpings. But at the same time, his army supply is quite low at this point. Yeah. I mean, I, I like the play with the Stalkers. Just trying to delay the army from coming across a little bit quicker. Beautiful uh, anti-armor missile does go down. Eventually, the mine's going to be going off onto the Stalkers, onto the Zealots. And these Immortals not dealing as much damage. Overcharge does go off. The Raven trying to throw down some turrets, and now with the additional warping of the Zealots, we'll be able to push us back, but another mine hit just evaporates these Zealots. And Zess going to have to tap out as GG is called an innovation, going to tie things up as we get into game number five. Alrighty, so game number five. Um, it, I always love seeing the series go full and full, and it's always interesting because we do tend to see in the like innovation versus zest matchup that it does go back and forth like this. There's a lot of, you know, sometimes the map matches are just decided by one like fight. Um, we've seen innovation kind of change up, right? We we started seeing him just go straight into a widow mine drop into using the hellions to kind of. We'll put some pressure onto the the probes and stuff. Um, I'm wondering, do we still see that kind of style? Maybe he changes it up altogether. Just goes into a, a Hellion drop. I would love to see that. But so far, the probe for Zest just coming across the map. Once again, being a, a probe, a Protoss, and just being annoying. Um, as we do see Innovation looking to take an expansion. Zest expansion already done. And behind this, we should see that blink play coming through once again obviously this <clears throat> excuse me uh, obviously this map is a little bit better for blink and for like tank tanks and stuff like that so maybe we'll see a little bit of variations but um i think we're going to be strapped in for a very similar game um to the previous four yeah now you know why you didn't mention the hellion drop like this map actually <clears throat> is quite open so i wouldn't be surprised if innovation did plot down a proxy starport and just go for a hellion drop unfortunately i don't see an scv out in the field here so i'm guessing that it's probably not going to be a proxy starport uh, but 
yeah, yeah. I mean, the the Hellion drop I think would have been so viable on this map specifically. But as I see the kind of the building placement of Innovation, placing his how, uh, his uh, factory uh, a little bit away from that barracks, that kind of tells me and indicates to me that it's not going to be a Hellion opening. It's probably going to be mm -hmm. a Widowmind drop. Definitely. Um, there we have the Twilight Council coming down for Zest behind it. Like you said, we should be seeing mines coming out from Innovation. Here comes the Adept. Does get blocked out, so not going to finish the shade. And uh, yeah, I mean, if you are Zest, obviously, I mean, y you've got to know that he's coming in with the probes. Got so close that last game. Um, with almost losing all of his all of his probes to the mines was just insane. <laughs> yeah. uh, able to hold it in at the end. And yeah, like you said, going to go just straight into mines this time. Uh, probably going to go into three and then switch out from there. Um, once again, because Blink is very good, we usually see like a uh, a warp prism try to go into the main, warp everything in, and then also with the Blink coming through. Um, I definitely think we could see that and being able to get into tanks a little bit quicker. It's going to be a little bit nicer for him there. So looks like Innovation going to start throwing down some additional barracks. And still has that Reaper out and about. Just trying to get some scouting information and make sure that nothing crazy is going on. And then we should see another drop here. All right. Hopefully, in the uh, sorry, uh, Zest doesn't give me the same heart attack as he did in the previous game, because those one of my shots were so 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 close. Like it could have been, could have uh, turned out really horrible. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, I, I think after the second one dropped, he had the observer, so would have been able to do a little bit better with it, but. Um, yeah, just going to be the same kind of stuff coming out from both players. Do you see that medevac now looking to go into the main base? And uh, no stalkers there yet, but by the time this does get in there, we obviously will see Zest moving everything in. He goes, goes ahead and warps in a couple of more stalkers. Trying to move it forward. Does get one probe. Ah, it gets four altogether. Not bad. It looks like he might actually be able to make it out with the uh, the uh, mine. <laughs> yeah, not bad. And yeah, we'll keep an eye out on that medevac because I'm sure that once the action happens, Innovation is going to go ahead and try to go through the back door and drop that mine at the same time. Definitely. So now we got a reactor coming in for Innovation. Going to be going into Starport as well. So looks like he's going to start going into mines instead of tanks this time, which is okay. Um, I don't mind it. I think usually if you see a player going more heavier into Zealots, that's going to be a little bit better. But obviously with Zest going into charge behind this, getting on those additional gateways, um, he has been starting to make more zealots um, for this potential attacks of being able to come in with the mines I think it's going to be a lot better do you see Zest now going across with a few stalkers wants to put on some pressure again there's no tanks out so doesn't have to worry about that has the blink capabilities but does not want to overextend um, especially since innovation is starting to build up a lot of that infantry to uh, go for another timing attack here all right, plenty of gateways here plotted down for Zest, and we should see his army supply jump up really soon. Uh, but in the meantime, Definitely. he's going to go ahead and try. Oh, actually, double medevac drop. All right, so he's not just going to push out. He's going to go ahead and try to do a drop while trying to defend at the same time. Oh, wait, never mind. Wait, is he trying to do a flank? No, never mind. I thought, okay, because like you, see, you do see sometimes that the Terran will, you know, kind of go for a flank and try to sandwich the blink stalkers because this thing the blink stalkers are so mobile you want to you know have them blink into your your uh stemmed marines and marauders but not the not the case here no um definitely look like he's gonna start trying to stem in towards the third base there is already the units there uh very zella heavy able to see that so we will go ahead and back up guardian shield does go down for the protoss stalkers can be retreating back home and with the Raven in position, as well as these additional mines coming through, this does make it a little bit tougher for Zest, but we'll see what ends up happening as we do see those Immortals coming through, those additional Zealots. A decent split coming out from Innovation. Going to go straight into the main base here. Actually, a really nice play coming out from Innovation. Zest trying to hurry up into the main base, but uh, 
We'll see some damage done. Stimming forward. With those additional zealots. Gonna blink forward with the stalkers. Gonna start focusing down onto the medevacs to basically make sure that there's no escape innovation. Just try to find whatever damage you can at the same time. Going into the natural. The mines just perched out in the front. Taking out 21 probes. A very nice pick out here from Innovation. Eventually we'll get cleaned up into the main base. But Innovation setting everything up to just annihilate all of the Zealots. Guardian Shield's going to go down. Blink has been used. Going to be able to take care of those stalkers. And GG's.